Hey guys, what is up? I am Double Driven. Today's video is something a little bit different. I don't normally do videos like this, but looking on YouTube, I wasn't able to really find a whole lot of information on this product. And I've been really impressed with it. It helped me out a lot uh, with quality in creating videos and my content in general. And it's also kind of like something that I've struggled with over the years of just computers in general. Um, and, it, and this company takes care of all that for you. Uh, what is this product or service? I guess it's a service. It's, uh, it's Shadow. Um, what is Shadow? Um, it is a virtual computer cloud-based system. Um, they take care of everything for you. You just log on to your Shadow account and they give you Windows 10 with it. And But it has no limitations. Uh, everything runs like it would on a top-of-the-line computer. Um, most people can't upfront come up with a, you know, $1,500, $2,000 build computer. This service takes care of all that for you. It is $35 a month. Uh, I'll get that out of the way first. Um, but if you think about it, it's like around, you know, 400 and something bucks a year. You know, over three years, you know, you would have a $1,500 computer. But in three years, that, you know, $1,500 computer is so out of date, it's not even funny. That's the problem that I have with computers in general. Like video game systems, they usually, you know, take a long time to build a new one and... You know, you don't feel so bad about, you know, spending, you know, four, 400, 500 bucks. Cause it's going to last you a couple of years because Sony's just not going to, you know, put together a new computer in four months. <laughs> you know, they might have like something with a little tweaks to it, but it's nothing drastic. Um, computers are always evolving. They're always changing. The technology is always being updated. You buy a computer, it's out of date the minute you buy it. With this service, they take care of all that for you. They're always updating their servers. Um, they show you the the tit or, or the the specs on what you get for your you know money. You get eight dedicated threads on Intel Xenon server, 256 gigs of storage. You can actually upgrade that, I believe, for like two dollars and like eighty cents or something and get a, uh, a terabyte, I believe, um, two gigabytes DDR4 RAM, and a single user high-end NVIDIA graphics card. It, it was listed what it was before, but I think they're getting ready to change that. They just haven't announced it yet. But um, they, uh, they, they handle all this stuff for you. If you're like me, I'm not super technical. This service, if you're, you know, able to take computers apart, put in new you know, graphics cards and all that other stuff. This isn't for you. <laughs> it's not. You, I, I, if I knew how to do that, I would enjoy doing that. I would not be interested in this product. But um, I don't know how to do all that stuff. This takes care of all that for you. And um, I just like that peace of mind and knowing that I'm always going to have an updated computer that can play the games the way I want them to play. Um, those that watch my channel, I mostly play Gwent. Gwent is pretty taxing on a computer for a collectible card game. Um, it's There's a reason why it's not on mobile yet. Um, the cards on it are animated and they look incredible. And if your computer isn't good enough, it will not handle them. Uh, <clears throat> but you can play this on anything. Um, except for currently iPhones. Like the iOS or whatever, it uh, it won't play on those just yet. They're getting ready to announce it, I guess, but uh, you could play it on Windows, Mac, you know, um, Linux, and uh, even your Android phone. You can play Gwent or PUBG or Fork Knife or whatever on your phone. Granted, you can play Fortnite on your phone anyways, but probably not on the settings that you would want but uh just that that you could take this wherever you want as long as you can download that shadow app 
and find some way to manipulate the screen, whether it be a controller or a keyboard or whatever, you're going to be able to log into this and play it. As long as it has an internet connection, you can pretty much play what you want to play, where you want to play it, as long as you have the device that's compatible with it, and most devices are. Um, it also, too, lets you, since you're connected to their server, you can use their internet. So it comes with uh, one gig internet as well. Uh, you still have to have at least a 15 megabyte connection. I don't really use it. You can either choose to use your internet or theirs. Um, I have like 460 megs at my house. So I don't really use it because it does, if you use their stuff, it, it has a little bit of latency to it. It's nothing drastic, but I've noticed it a lot more if you use their end of internet um, but uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to uh, my Gwent on my computer and show you how it plays and then I'm gonna show you the difference when I log into my shadow so I'll see you here in a few seconds okay so we're logged into Gwent uh, this is on my computer without the shadow um, we're gonna go into the collection and this, this is a pretty good example of how my computer, you know, does with Gwent. The card still ain't lit up yet, animated. There goes one. It's just slow. It It's fine on the big projections of them. But when they're sitting on the board, they just struggle. They're like stop animation. They, uh, they're just not going the way they should be going. Um, and I have this on half settings. Um, with um, that anti-aliasing off and everything so even with the settings reduced it still can't handle them um, I just I just feel like it it's it's frustrating you you have a decent computer and it just can't do what you want it to do um, it uh, it it's very it's it's just frustrating. You want you want the computer to be able to play what you want it to play, and currently I'm just not happy with the way it it looks. This computer isn't even a year old, and it has a NVIDIA GeForce 730, which I don't think is a bad graphics card, but it just it just doesn't seem to handle what I want it to do. Um, but what we're going to do now is I'm going to switch over to the shadow uh, and show you the difference. And it is just 10 times better. It's, it's incredible. And it's I'm using the same computer. So I'm, I'm just all I'm doing is logging on to the shadow account on the same computer that I am showing you right now where it's struggling to do what I want it to do. So I'm going to flip over and I'll see you here in two seconds. Okay, so this is the shadow. When you log into it, um, you have an app on your desktop. It uh, logs you straight into a normal Windows um, desktop. This is what you get with it. This is where you download all your games, put everything where you want it. Um, and you also have all those you know, assets of the graphics card and all that other stuff uh, at your disposal here um, through their service on your same computer or phone or tablet or Mac or you know Linux service um, it's just it's it's just so convenient if you're somebody that does like a lot of running around and you know you want to be able to you know play a couple games on your lunch break or something you know you can have your entire desktop at your disposal in your hands which is amazing um, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna log into uh, my GOG um, go to the Gwen account and show you how these cards and everything come alive with the shadow and it's a hundred times better I I'm absolutely just super impressed with this and that's why I just feel like I needed to make a video on this so I'll see you here in two seconds okay so here's our uh, went on the shadow uh, we're going to go into that same collection and just watch these cards just pop instantly. They're already going. Flowing the way they should. Beautiful. Everything's responsive. 
all of them while they're just in the small board form are just you know moving the way they should absolutely 10 times better than what it was before uh, like i said i just i'm just super impressed with this product and you know for someone to take care of all the technical stuff that i can't handle um i give it i just give it a 10 out of 10. like i said if you're looking for something like this um, definitely check it out uh, like i said i'm gonna put my promo code in the comments or the the description in the comments if you're looking to you know try it out you get 10 bucks off helps me out helps you out it's a win-win but uh yeah that's the video for today guys uh, like always thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.